let's create this object in front of us by drawing it. Since our dimensions are in millimeter, we're going to come here. We go metric, standard millimeters, then we say create. So here we are going to start with the rectangles. So that will be my first rectangle. Okay. And this one here will be my second rectangle. So I'll make sure that that one there is uh, 92 millimeters. So 92. Okay, good. And also, this one here needs to be 15 millimeters. So, sorry, 14 millimeters, I should say. 14. And that one needs now to be 15 millimeters. So, 1, 5. I should make sure that this one here is centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say from there to there need to be half of 15, which is 7.5. Also, from here, from there to there, I need to have 36 millimeters, which is half of 92. That is fine. And this one here needs to be 32 millimeters. So 32 it is. Now say I'm gonna come here and draw these two circles. Okay. And from here to there, I need to have 58 millimeters. So 58. This one here needs to be uh, 55 millimeters. 55. And uh, which one? That one needs to be 30 millimeters so 30 good and after that i'm going to draw this rectangle okay up to there and then i'll make sure that this rectangle is 58 millimeters that is 58 then i'll say escape now that i have that one in place what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come on to the model i'm gonna click on extrude so now i'm going to extrude this part here by 142 millimeters okay as you can see now it need to go both sides of the drawing plane this is my drawing plane which is y x and then i'll say both side good then i'll say plus when i say plus i now want to extrude this one here by 97 millimeters so 97 so 9 7 good okay again i'll say plus i need now to extrude the spot here by uh what is that 15 millimeters so i'll say 15 one five good now that i have that in place i'm going i'm going to come and extrude this part so i'm going to say plus extrude now this part here by uh, 45 millimeters so four five then plus again i want to cut the one inside like that you can see it's already 45 millimeters then i'll say cut now i have this frame in front of me now you have the frame of the drawing that you're looking for then you say okay so after that you come here okay and create a fillet there. so this one here I need to have a fillet of 10 millimeter radius so one zero the same applies there, the same applies there, and uh, uh, the same applies over there. And then you say, okay. Then, after that, you come here. Let's come here. You come here and uh, you need to cut that part. Okay, you say, I want to have a chamfer there, so I'll choose this one because it's a dissimilar so this one here i will have 18.5 18.5 so 18.5 going that side there inside and there i'm going to have 36 millimeters so 36 millimeters down okay i'll say apply and then i want to have the same thing then i say apply after that i'll come here and say here i want to have i'll change these parameters 
I want to have 32 millimeters there, 32. And there I need to have 26 millimeters going in. 26 degrees. I say apply, then I apply the same thing over the side. Then I say okay. Then from there, I'll come on top here, right click there and say new sketch. Once we are here, I'm going to start with a circle. You see, to have this in place, okay? Because now you have the, sh the frame of your drawing, or of your object. So this one here needs to be 18 millimeters. So 18, I say, okay. Now from here to there, I need to have 21 millimeters, okay? And uh, uh, from here, today I need to have 21 millimeters as well. 21 millimeter it is. Enter. So now I'm going to come on rectangular pattern. So I want this one here to be multiplied. To have four of them to be multiplied uh, four times. So in this direction, which is the vertical direction, so I'll say, uh, I'll come here. This is the vertical direction, this one. So I'll come here, and then I say this vertical direction. As you can see, it's going upward. So I want it to come downward. I want this one, this circle to be this side. So I'll change there. Then I say the space between that circle and that, and that one, center to center, I want to have um, 50 millimeters. So 50, then it goes there. I say, I don't have to say, okay. Now, this other side as well. So I'll come then, then I choose this. I say now, this side, I'm going to change. I want it to go that way. Between them, I need to have 100 millimeters. So 100 millimeters it is, as you can see. Then, okay. Next, I'm going to come on 3D model. I click on extrude. Now I'm going to cut all these circles. Then I'm going to have holes there instead of circles. So there, I'm going to say cut. Okay, and then I'll say, okay. Now you have the objects modeled by you as you want it. What you're going to do next is you're going to give the material. So you come here and select the material that you're looking for. So you can go for carbon steel now you have your objects there in front of you it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you i hope that you enjoyed it hope that you're gonna enjoy it for now i'm gonna ask you to take care of yourself please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to like see you on the next video bye